Years, the city hasn't been paying contractors for work. Now, those contractors are responsible for getting street lights and traffic lights running. Now, as Eleanor Tabone reports, Council Member Helena Moreno is calling for the legislative auditor to look through the paperwork. Back in February, Eyewitness News sat down with Sarah McLaughlin Porteous with the city's Department of Public Works. We had a three or four month gap where we did not have a regular street light repair and maintenance contractor. So that, you know, that just the number of outages just continued to grow and grow and grow. Fast forward to today. Sometimes it's because our vendors say that they haven't been paid and that they paid their workers and they don't have the ability to continue. The city of New Orleans gets contractors to fix the traffic and street lights. And we'd like to have a lot more contractors, you know, bidding on our work. We had a contractor who did traffic lights, uh, All Star Electric. Um, this council fought repeatedly on an almost monthly basis to try and get their invoices paid timely. And despite our best efforts to fight our own city to get their payments timely, they walked. Because every business in the city cannot afford to float their bills to float their payments because the city's incompetent. It's the typical red flashing lights like these ones here at the intersection of Common and South Rampart Street that is simply frustrating drivers. That's making me mad. Don't light. Every time the traffic is too hard. I have friends who work who are afraid, literally afraid of crossing the streets just because of the street lights being out. It's actually embarrassing that I have to call in the legislative auditor to, to, to really get in there and dig through everything to find out what is so wrong with the city of New Orleans, why we cannot get the basic stuff right of paying our vendors. It's, it's definitely a challenge. And while the interstate remains in darkness. That's ridiculous. I mean, it's dark through large stretches of, of highways, dangerous. Drivers are pleading for city leaders to shine some light on their roadways. City, do what we need to do, please, and thank you. Eleanor Tabone, Eyewitness News. Well, according to Councilwoman Moreno, one firm is owed $7 million for projects completed last year.